Did you know that crappy audio can kind of ruin your GoPro videos? Hey, this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and today we're gonna to talk about the Hero 5 Black microphones. Yes, microphones, because there's actually three microphones on the Hero 5 camera. Now I showed you all of these back in, I think video number two, where I gave you a little bit of a tour of the Hero 5 Black, but just as a refresher, there's a microphone right up here on the top. It's about the size of a pinhole, and then another one on the side, also the size of a pinhole. And then over here by the side door, there's one that's a little bit bigger. What's really neat about these is that the Hero 5 Black automatically switches back and forth and uses the audio that it's picking up from all three to kind of create the best balance of audio. And it does this automatically while you're shooting. You don't even know that it's doing it. It also analyzes the audio coming in to see whether it needs to filter out wind noise and it will just do that automatically as well. The audio on the Hero 5 Black is a huge improvement over previous models because it used to be that if you were gonna use your GoPro in or around water, you had to have it in that waterproof housing which really muffled the sound. And since the Hero 5 Black is waterproof without a housing, we don't have that muffling problem. But if you are planning to use the super suit, you do have to kind of keep that in mind because you're covering up those microphones there and you may not have the best quality audio. But something I want you to keep in mind though, which is a common problem with brand new GoPro users is when you're handling the GoPro with your hands, it's almost impossible to not brush your fingers up against those microphones. So if you plan on holding your camera in your hands while you are recording, it's best if you use some kind of a hand grip or the three way selfie stick or any selfie stick actually. I have a lot of different hand grips and they're all great. I'm a big fan of the ones that float because then it kind of serves two purposes. But no matter how you plan to hold your Hero 5 while you're recording, just be mindful of where those microphones are so that you don't get that really harsh noise. Now you can actually turn off some of that audio guessing game that the camera does automatically. If you know you're going to be somewhere where you are going to have a lot of wind noise, you can actually set it to constantly be filtering out wind noise, or if you want to shoot in stereo only, you can do that as well. To get to the manual audio controls, all you have to do is swipe left on the touch display, and then swipe over to manual audio control, and either choose wind only or stereo only, but I keep my manual control off. And if the audio that you're getting through the Hero 5 is just not cutting it for you, you can use an external microphone, you just need to get a special adapter for it. And when you have ProTune on, you can actually create a separate audio file completely, but we're gonna talk about ProTune in another video. So now you know all about GoPro's three microphones and tomorrow we're gonna to be talking about how to control your camera with voice commands. This is one of my favorite features of the GoPro so I can't wait to get into oh, it. Oh, and if you missed my GoPro settings cheat sheet from back in uh, video number one, you can grab that now and if this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.